John Buscema produced his first professional comics work in 1948 for Timely Comics. That initial year netted him experience in several different genres, including romance, western, and crime comics. After a stint in the Army and subsequent honorable medical discharge in 1951, he did freelance work for several different publishers, including Atlas, formerly Timely, Quality, Dell, Ace, Charlton, and many others. In 1958, Buscema left the floundering comics business for greener pastures in commercial art. Just eight years later, however, he was lured back to what was formerly Atlas Comics and was now Marvel Comics to make his considerable mark on one of the most crucial periods in the history of the medium, the Silver Age. From 1966 until his death in 2002, the lion's share of the artist's work was done for Stan Lee's House of Ideas, as Buscema's stellar work on the Avengers and the Silver Surfer, as well as a 14-year association with Conan the Barbarian, made him one of the most respected and loved figures in comics. His work was extremely prolific, having drawn at least one issue of virtually every Marvel comic during his prime and many covers over the years. John Buscema's art has always appeared to be that of a man who loved what he did and invested heavily in it. His style is as compelling as it is intricate. His heroes are bold, powerful, and always action ready, whether they wear tights, a sword, or a loincloth. His women are alluring, be they damsels, warriors, or heroines, and his locations consistently appeared as settings with which he was infinitely familiar. In short, Buscema seemed to render his craft with a deep appreciation for every character and element of a story. Time doesn't allow a complete listing of all of John Buscema's work. Seeking it out, however, is sure to keep an individual busy for some time. As a personal aside, this reviewer has always found his 70s Tarzan work for Marvel to be underappreciated. But whatever you find, it is almost certain to be highly recommended.